everybody and thank you for tuning into my YouTube video. If you are interested in seeing how I created this pink cut crease look with the bold lip, just continue watching this video. Okay, off camera, I've already done my brows because it's a process, honey. And if you want to see how I do that, I will link the video down below. I primed my lid with concealer. I used the Epicern Concealer from Lancome in Medium Bisque. And I set it with a translucent powder. So I'm going to be doing a cut crease look. So I want to apply a transition color. Y'all, I'm so ill prepared. Like, I sat down in front of this camera and didn't even prepare myself, so forgive me. Okay, so I'm going to take Soft Brown from MAC and I'm going to apply that to my crease as a transition color. take this color up towards my brow bone as well what do I mean as well like I'm just saying stuff oh and I'm using a BH cosmetics brush and this is number 129 honestly you can use a fluffy brush I just grabbed the first brush that I saw next color that I'm gonna go into if I can grab it, is this is the BH Cosmetics First Edition palette. And I'm actually going to go in with that same fluffy brush and I'm going to take this color right here, this pink color, and apply that to my crease as well. And I want to bring this color up because I don't want it to get lost when I apply my other colors because it's so pretty I want it to be seen okay. so this color is passionate and it's from MAC as well it's like a deeper pink than the one that I took out of that BH Cosmetics palette I'm going to apply that to my lid too but I'm going to take it a little bit lower than I took my other pink color oh going to take the Rebel eyeshadow. I hope my camera is still recording because it is definitely about to die. I'm going to go in with a Clinique brush. doesn't have a number. It's just the eyeshadow brush. Take the Rebel and go in to deepen my crease just a little bit. Take your time with that eye, honey, because the longer you take to blend it, the better it comes out. Some of y'all need to take y'all time to be rushing it. This eye is coming out right, coming out right. Okay, let me stop making the glue because my camera is about to die. Okay, I'm taking Leader out the Tarte Let palette with the smudger brush. I'm going to go into my crease. And this is going to be my last crease color. Because I want it to be dark, but I don't want it to be too dark to take away that pink. So I'm just going to go. Girl, what are you talking about? Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side.
if my camp oh i just hit my knee <gasps> ouch so if my camera did not catch it I'm just gonna tell you what I did. So I went into my crease with the pink from the BH Cosmetics palette. I went back in with Passionate from MAC. Then I went into my Tartlet palette, used Rebel first, and then I used Leader. Blended those out, went in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil on my lid to give my eyeshadow a base. Carved out my crease, my cut crease, and then I went back into my crease with Leader and fixed it a little bit because, hold on, I gotta fix it again. Because milk is kind of bleeding into my crease and I'm about to get mad. But I'm finna stay calm. I'm gonna stay calm, girl, cause I can fix it. I need to set this eye for this, um, I'm just gonna use Charmer. Ooh, I'm just gonna use Charmer, the lightest shade from the Tartlet palette to set this milk, the NYX milk on my lid. I'm just gonna use a flat shadow brush to do that. paper from MAC and I'm going to go under my brow bone with that because I want to clean up a little bit around my crease area. I'm going to actually take my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take that pink, the first pink that I used, not a lot of it, and blend that too. And I'm just going to keep blending the two until I get it to where I want it to be. my Urban Decay Vice palette and then I'm going to take Fastball which is that one and I'm going to put it on my lid oh and I'm spraying it with Max Fix Plus so that it can show some off is this it in black and I'm going to wing it to smoke out my lash line so I'm going to go take that first color I used from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to go into Rebel in the Tartlet palette again to grab a Clinique shadow called Angel Eyes and I'm going to put that in my tear duct area. So I've lined my lips with Clinique Tender Taupe Liner 
and I'm going to go in with MAC Relentless Red for my lipstick. my video I am so glad that I made it to this video because my camera kept dying so I'm trying to hurry up and finish this outro if you liked my video please thumbs it up let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and if you want to see this face more often please subscribe to my channel I'm trying to look into that. I cannot believe I just did that. I'm gonna turn sideways so y'all can see this eye. You know what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, just, just watch. So I'm, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush. I think it's a smudger brush. It doesn't say it on stop on the. So I'm going to blend that up. And in all honesty. I wasn't trying to go for a dramatic look, but apparently I can stay from drama, so it's going to probably be dramatic. But I'm just going to blend it up, make sure there's no harsh line. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, my brow's itching so bad. But you can't scratch it. I cannot scratch it. My brow can go from here to all the way up there and I get half of that. 